All right, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can join Jump Clan in Krunker. Jump Clan is a very accessible slide hop clan that challenges your abilities in slide hopping. This clan is accessible to anyone on any device in any way, shape, or form. You do not need to be able to record to join Jump. There are alternatives to recording your run. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can join Jump without recording and how you can join Jump on any FPS, any device, any sort of way that you would want to play Krunker. All right, this is just sort of an editor's note. I just wanted to mention something very important that I forgot about. Uh, you can join jump on any account that you want to so you can join your jump on an alt account or an alt alt account Doesn't matter what the account is as long as it's yours Jump is allowing alt because a lot of people don't want to have their main account in a bhop clan as They might want their main account in a content creation clan or any sort of other clan And also jump is made to coexist with phil so a lot of phil members have their alt accounts in jump so if you want to join Jump but you're already in a clan on your main, then you can just make a new account and get it to level 10 and that can be your account in Jump. And you can still participate in Jump as if you were in it on your main. The first step that I would recommend for joining Jump is to join the Jump Discord. The Jump Discord is a place with a lot of useful information towards joining Jump. So in the Jump Discord, it tells you all of the stuff you need to do to join Jump. Alright, step two. So you want to do your Moonlight run. So Moonlight is the easier of the two requirements. One of the requirements is Moonlight, the second requirement is your jump, your two jumps, whatever you want to do for 10 points on the jump leaderboard. So Moonlight is the easier of the two, so I would want to start with Moonlight. And just for Moonlight, I would, you know, I'm going to kind of head into it and show you what a pretty standard run would look like for someone who wants to join jump. Um, there are not super a lot of skips that someone who would, is interested in joining would use. They just kind of, you know, trying to beat every level in one or two tries just to make sure that they're not behind. Uh, pace and still able, to, still able to finish in a relatively near to six minute time. Obviously you do need to finish in less than six minutes, there will not be any exceptions made for that, so if you get six minutes and two seconds, I'm very sorry, but you will need to uh, try again. But at that point, you know, if you get six minutes and two seconds, you'll probably get a better time anyways in your next run. So that section is pretty simple, straightforward, I don't think I really need to explain anything, but there are some harder stuff later on that I will definitely provide an explanation for. At this level you can just 180 at the start like this a few times or you can go around in a circle like this whatever you want but anything you need just game speed and jump over this gap this level is one that a lot of people have trouble with basically just look in a straight line and do not move your mouse just look in a straight line kind of build up a rhythm and jump off of it you need to have a pretty like decent lineup and if you're not able to do that then i'd recommend going higher up on the ramp and then starting and it's not a very precise trick you just kind of need to, you know, get there a little bit. And you can even start like right here if you need to. And just anything that works for you. Everyone has their own strategy. Uh, it seems like I can't figure out a strategy right now. Right there. This level's easy. No explanation needed. This level's another one that people struggle with. Just, you know, come at it with a little bit of speed. And then go side to side like this. And then jump off the last one skip between these two and try to make that last jump. I don't know how I missed it. Three, four. There. All right. Hit the back of this ramp here and then curve slide around to there. This level, there's many ways to glitch it, but I, I suggest doing it the normal way. Just 180 and then jump. It's pretty simple. So the last few levels there were pretty simple, didn't really need an explanation, but we're getting to the harder zone and I will do a breakdown of each one of these levels to make it pretty easy for you to understand. So that for this level, no matter who you are, I'd recommend, you know, getting a little bit of a run up for this level because it does take a little bit of speed. Um, and for this first jump, I would recommend landing, you know, close enough to the edge. You don't need to aim like way out there, just kind of aim like that. And then you just need to curve in. So hold W and then just hold uh, this key. I can't see what the key is because I have custom key gaps. It's A. And then turn the corner and crouch. If you hold crouch midair, then you're just going to fly out like this. See? Because you can't turn midair if you're holding crouch, so don't hold crouch. Just hold crouch before you land. And then that should be pretty simple. Uh, try not to jump while you're under that thing or it'll launch you forward. Uh, this level is pretty straightforward, it's just kind of a little bit grindy because it does take some time to figure out, you know, what you're personally going to do, but just kind of just jumping off the things. That ramp can be a little tricky sometimes, and then a low hop, but generally that level is not too hard. 
This one's got some little bounces in it, and you can cut this level in half if you really need to. Uh, so first one, uh, if you have a little bit too much speed in this first jump, you can bounce off this wall, and then you bounce off this wall. And if you do not have enough speed, then you can start from here, and you can do a, do a strafe jump and jump like that. Sorry that my space bar is loud. Um, and then if you do have enough speed, then you can just continue like this. Oh, I didn't crouch. You have to, you have to crouch to that landing. There you go. All right, and now onto the last level of Slide Moonlight. You're just going to uh, be careful here. You can slip that if you want to, or you can jump it however you want. And then just making sure you do everything with care and making sure that you don't jump when you don't need to and you do jump when you do need to. It's a pretty straightforward map. I don't think I really need to explain that much other than just the levels that people have struggled with. So 435, pretty simple run. I wasn't, you know, going super hard. So that's kind of maybe what the average person would do. This map called Kanji Challenge. So there are a few upsides to this map. One of them is that um, if you fail, it'll just teleport you straight back up. You don't need to wait. So it is, um, it's quite nice because you don't uh, actually have to wait between attempts. And also on this map, you don't need to record because if you get one point, then you are on the leaderboard and I can check the leaderboard manually. I can see more than just 16. I can see infinite. So if you, so if you have gotten one score on this map, then that's all you need. You just need your moonlight run and you do not need to record your kanji jump if you have done it on this map. There's not really any downsides to this map. Some people have trouble with this jump, but I personally think it is the best candidate for someone who wants to join because it's friendly to any FPS. There are many different routes you could do. So for example, you could do like this, go out that way. If you are a somewhat confident player, I would just recommend doing it the normal way. This is kind of hard on 60 FPS, I will warn you though, uh, is just going like this. And then holding your LMG while moon jumping, letting go of it just right here, 180s. Hold your LMG, let go of ADS, moon jump, and then and then jump on the, the wall there. All right, there you go. So it does instantly teleport you back because this is meant to be kind of like a challenge map. See how many times you can do it in four minutes, which I've got nine on, uh, but. So it isn't exactly as satisfying as doing it in the real map, but it does get you where you need to be, which is your verification for jump plan. All right, so the next step, so when you finish your, your jump and your moonlight run, um, in the Discord, there's a channel called Clan Submission. If you're able to record, just get your video of your kanji jump, drop it in here and say, type in your IGN, put in both of your videos. They can be unstreamable, they can be on YouTube, whatever you want. Uh, if you can't just upload them straight from Discord, type in your IGN and then just hit upload. If you type them in multiple messages, they will get deleted. So just try to type it all in one message. Dang, my Wi-Fi is nuts. But if you were unable to record from Kanji Challenge, take a screenshot of your screen when you have one point, or take a screenshot of the end screen at the end of the game. This will show that you have gotten one point on Kanji Challenge at least, which is the minimum for joining. Then I'll be able to go into the map and verify it myself. For Moonlight, however, it's a little bit more complicated. I do not own the map Moonlight, so I cannot verify runs on Moonlight. But if you But if you finish this Moonlight run in a lobby that's hosted by a clan member, then you can join the clan. So if you join the Discord and there are a few clan members talking in general chat or in any chat whatsoever, you can ask them if they can host a verification lobby for you. So if there are no clan members online in Jump and you don't have any way to record your Moonlight run, then you can ask one of your friends to record for you and submit it that way. If it's still not possible for you to do any of those methods, then you can ask in the Discord and we will definitely help you out. That's all for the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure to join Jump. See you next time.